faster, but a lot of people know me as Meg Faster Fitness because I'm the fitness queen here. I grew up here and uh, I went to Mrs. Mbao school pretty much my whole life. And uh, we were like, we did have activities like football, volleyball, basketball, and we did a bit of track as well. So we did have different varieties of exercises. So I was always into sports also. My dad played basketball and that inspired me, even though I'm not as tall as I want to be. But you know, so when I moved to the UK, I played uh, college basketball for Sutton, Sutton Coldfield College. I would say I started taking my training a little bit more intense uh, two months after I had my son. I just fell into like depression, like being a new mom and didn't know what to do and like I just needed like an outlet because I was so used to being fit all these years before I had him. So um, I went to sign up for the gym and as soon as I went the lady to sign me up, she was like, honey, I think you need to like start working out again because you just look so depressed and you felt down. So I started with boxing. I tried different things, body combat, I tried uh, crossfit, yeah. So I like intense uh, work exercises as well to like, test my limit. So eventually down the line, I'm like, I've tried to do different things, you know, work in restaurants, in clothing stores and stuff, but it just wasn't my calling. So I'm just like, I want to come back home and be close to my family. And you know, obviously going back and forth between Sweden and Gambia, I've also noticed that there isn't much, like there isn't many women working out here. Not as intense as we do back there. So I'm like, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to, you know, do that whilst I live here. And uh, since I've been here, like what, almost close to two years now, I've taken a little bit more serious, I started getting more clients and, you know, motivating people by making YouTube videos, by, um, uh, doing exercise of the day, which I post on Facebook and my other social media, and giving health tips as well, like nutritional tips, because you are all what you eat. Yeah, so what you put inside is gonna come out on your skin, your hair, whatever. So it's all about educating them as to like the, the whole package, which is taking care of your mind, body, and soul as much as you can. So, so sometimes you may need to adjust as well. Thank you. 